In many situations, we have multiple competitive objectives that we care about. Here we show a problem with two metrics, where optimizing one hurts the other one. There are also practical constraints on each of these metrics. For example, we want both metrics to be at least 80% effective. In practice, we implement this setting with constraints on the objective functions. We also have a limited budget. Ultimately, experimentation is costly, and we don't want to waste observations that do not satisfy the constraints. To tackle these problems, we thought about using intelligent optimization strategies, such as Bayesian optimization. Here, we have a multi-objective problem, which is usually solved by searching for the Pareto efficient points. In our example, we show four points that lie exactly on the Pareto efficient frontier for this problem. To facilitate the illustration, let's overlay both metrics. This also highlights that we are searching for designs in the input space. It turns out that if we present this optimal solution to material scientists, they will often ask for suboptimal configurations. They will ask why haven't you selected this point, or this one, or this one. But clearly, all the Pareto efficient points are in this line. The problem is, that's only true during development. In this picture, we can see the difference between the CAD model underlining the simulation and the actual result produced from the fabrication. More generally, in many applications, what we get during development won't be a perfect match of our results during production. It may be due to precision limitations of our equipment, as we saw in the last picture, maybe there is a covariate shift, or a model mismatch between the development and the production scenario. This implies that we should search for designs which perform consistently despite such differences, and that was our motivation for defining a new problem formulation.